Hello and welcome to another episode of Sharing the Gospel with Jesus Christ. Uh, you're here with me, Murph, and I want to come to you, bring you a word of truth from the Word of Truth, God's Word, the Bible. So, here it is. I don't know about you guys, but I have lots of friends, family, people I pray for, and I want my prayers to be heard because I want them to come to know Christ and spend eternity in heaven with me and Christ, Christ above all. But I want to be there with me too, and I want to be there. So, in order to um, have my prayers heard and to make a difference with my prayer in the people's lives who I'm praying for, I need to have my prayer life lining up with this right here, what I'm about to read you, out of James chapter 5, verse 16. It says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Okay, so everyone today knows that it's not easy to be righteous according to the world. We are not righteous. Not even only according to the world, but according to the Bible. We're not righteous on our own. The only thing righteous about us is Christ. So if we want our prayers to be heard, and it says we need to be righteous. To be righteous, the only way I know of, the only way, is through Christ. He is our righteousness. So we need to have a close relationship with Him. We need to abide in Christ and let Him abide in us. That is how we are righteous men and women, and that is how our prayers will be heard. We can go to the throne boldly if we are grounded in Christ and have that close personal relationship. And uh, so that's what we need to do, because like I said in the beginning, I have people that I pray for, and I want my prayers to mean something. I want my prayers to be heard, and you know, I can't be, um, you know, I can't be not having that. I can't be, uh, you know, toying in stuff that I know is uh, not good and that I know is going to bring me down and that I know is going to kill me. And I'm not speaking to y'all. I'm speaking to myself too. I want to be. I want to come closer to the Lord every day. So uh, we have to uh, yield to the Holy Spirit, conviction of the Holy Spirit, and uh, we just. And in order, you know, to uh, do that, first of all, we have to accept Christ. And then, you know, whenever the Holy Spirit talks to us, we got to listen. We got to get in His Word. We got to stay in His Word. Have our prayers heard. We got to be strong. All right, guys, we're coming up on three minutes. I don't want to take too much of your guys' time because I actually want you to watch this video and I want you to get something out of it and I want you to share it with somebody. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and sign off, but I want you to stay. I mean, I just want to say, I'm sorry, uh, you know, be bold, be confident in Christ. He loves you. He is no respecter of persons. Uh, don't think that you can ask one person, you know, to pray for you. And I, I'm not saying that we don't need to do that. All of us need to pray for each other. But you can be the difference maker. You can uh, have that prayer that is going to make the difference. What's it take? Being a righteous man. How do you be a righteous man? Through Christ. Have that relationship. Abide in Christ and let Him abide in you. Alright guys, you have a great day. Be blessed. And um, until next time, remember that Jesus always speaks. Peace.